So now we're going to do another, uh, the inverted index in Postgres. Uh, and it just turns out it's a whole bunch easier to do it in Postgres uh, because we're just going to use the, uh, the gin index. Um, so let's take a look at the uh, 05 full text.sql uh, document. Um, and so let's go ahead and make our, our docs table. Uh, if, you, if you already created it, if you're doing this like one, at a, you know, multiple at a time, then you can drop the table and drop the indexes. It's always a good idea. I don't have one. Now, there are two ways to create this index. You might be using Postgres 9 and you might be using Postgres 11. Let's check to see which one I'm doing. Select version parenthesis. Yay, I'm Postgres 11. So that means that I have to use this, um, I have to use the array ops. Now what happened is between Postgres 9 and Postgres 11, they sort of merged a lot of array types into one array ops, and so life got a lot simpler. Um, they, it didn't, you didn't have to tell it the type. So I'm going to make this as my index. So create index gen one on docs using gen, string to array, doc, double quote, and array ops is the operator class. So I'm going to do that. So I've created the table and I'm going to create the index. So you can think of this as it, it understands that this, the index is breaking the document into an array and then we have to be able to do array operations on it, which you'll see in a moment what array operations are. So I've created the index. I'm going to throw some documents in, the same documents. And then I'm going to throw some filler lines. So insert into docs, and I'm going to use the generate series to throw 10,000 more lines in. And that's because sometimes we, it won't use the index unless it's big enough. And as a matter of fact, we might find that the, um, the explain doesn't work yet. Let me try it real quick. Yeah, so that's a sequential scan. And so the problem is, is it's actually still at this moment while we're watching it, it is working on, it just got 10,000 records inserted, and it's actually in the background, the index is sort of out of date, and the index is catching up. And so it takes a while. So we'll come back to that in a second. We'll run it. So let's look at this. Um, let's look at that select ID generate series. Uh, insert into docs, right? Insert into docs, and then there's a select. And then this is just neon concatenated with generate series. Generate series is sort of a vertical expansion that's going to create a series of rows, neon 10,000, neon 10,001, neon 10,002, and that puts 10,000 rows in our database. So if I was to do a select count star from docs, you will see that there is 10,004 records in. And that is the three I put in, and then the 10,001 that it put in later. Okay, so that's the generate series, but we talked about that earlier. Um, and let's do this select. Now this is this, this is an array. You can kind of say, um, it contained is this learn array contained within the string to array of doc. Now the key thing to anything in an index is to is the where clause is where the index heavy lifting happens. And the key is to match what you're making the index on to what you're checking against in the in the in the where clause. So the fact that string to array doc double quote uh, with a space and array ops, that is the thing we've got to have in the where clause. And of course, quote curly brace learn quote curly brace quote, that is a one element string array in Postgres syntax. So we'll go grab that and find the docs. And so we've found that one, select ID. Now let's just see if the explain is caught up after I blah, blah, blah long enough. Yay, the explain caught up. So don't feel bad if your explain takes a while. So we did the same explain. We didn't do anything except waited. So what happened there was because we inserted 10,001 records, the, the, it was out of date. And so it, it said, you know, I... My index isn't quite right. I'm not going to trust it. I'm going to wait until the index catches up. This is one of the issues of inverted indexes. If you're under a heavy insert load, the poor index never catches up. Or it costs you a lot of effort, and the index is always behind, so you're not using it. So if you're continuously inserting, then you may never be able to use the index because it's always marked as, like, incomplete. 
it has to kind of catch back up. So there's a bunch of reorganization that has to happen. But in this particular one, it worked just peachy. Okay. And so that's pretty much it. You, you did that. It's really not that much work. You create the index. You get the index expression right. You pick your operate, operator class. And then at some point, your explains start to work. Okay. So I hope you found that helpful. Uh, cheers.